My childhood was an awful situation when I was born in 1975. Many intellectuals and educated people were killed by the Khmer Rouge. And after that, Cambodia needed a good background of people who had high education to, to teach the younger generation. So I had to do something if I had a chance. My name is Seik Surin. I'm a lawyer and director of legal department of International Justice Mission in Cambodia. Um, we're about to reach Martini. You can, you can see the Martini pub, you see? Yeah. And one night, there were two IGM team approach a DJ counter where I was working. It, it was dangerous. Sometimes um, there were fighting, shooting inside the club. It was one of the places uh, where the customer could find girls, especially young girls to have sex. They asked them, how many customers per day, how many girls per day, what are their age rings? Initially, I was nervous. I had a chance to join IGM team to conduct the first operation. I was assigned to be an informant. In 2003, I started law school. When we started to fight, I thought it, it was impossible because of the broken public justice system. And for me, as I'm a, I'm a victim's lawyer, sometimes I felt discouraged because my client was jailed. I thought, oh, it's not possible to win the case. But remember, any problem can be solved. We have seen dramatic decrease of commercial and sexual exploitation of minor. I'm, I'm really passionate in, in uh, advocating this model that IGEM created really, really well. First, we rescue the victim of violence. Second, we bring the criminals to justice. Third, restore the survivors. And fourth, we strengthen the justice system. We've been working with passionate people the performance of police and the court are more proactive, increase more collaboration right now. That's why we become a leading country to fight this problem. I feel very honored, I will feel very privileged and to be a part of this change. It's been 10 years uh, I have been in, involved in this uh, fight protecting uh, children and we do it now and we continue to do it in the future. Who can be a part of this fight for the children?